Hi everyone and welcome back to Tech Cravers. Today we're diving into the brand new 1.22 update for Ambernix RG557 and there's actually quite a lot going on in this one. First off there's an optimized PS2 update that brings better overall performance, improved game compatibility and even enables default vibration for supported titles. Great news for anyone who's been using the RG557 for PlayStation 2 emulation. We also get an updated version of the 3DS Citra emulator plus the addition of a brand new 3DS emulator called Asahar, which aims to improve compatibility with a wider range of titles. On top of that the update boosts your dynamic wallpapers, those cool animated backgrounds up to full HD resolution, giving the UI a more polished look. But the real showstopper here is something called Ambernic AI. This feature is brand new and it opens up some really interesting possibilities for how we interact with our handhelds. In this video I'll walk you through how to update your device, install the new firmware and then we'll take a closer look at what Ambernic AI can actually do. Now let's jump into it. Since this is an over-the-air update, all you really have to do is to power on your internet-connected RG557 and then the first thing you should see is this prompt letting you know there's an update available to download and install. If you don't see it, make sure you got a stable internet connection and then try checking for the update manually through the device settings menu. Feel free to drop a comment down below if you run into any issues and I'll do my best to help you out. Once you're ready, just tap the update button and then hit the big arrow in the center to start downloading the update. The update takes around 20 minutes to fully download and install, so feel free to step away, grab a snack or do something else while it finishes up. Come back in a bit and your RG557 should be ready to go. Just remember, after the download finishes you'll need to tap the arrow again to actually install the update. It's not automatic, so don't forget that step. And once everything is finally done, just tap OK to restart your device. Now I want to mention something that happened to me, after the reboot my RG557 got stuck on the lock screen and wouldn't go any further. If that happens to you, don't panic, I had to do a hard reset by holding down the power button until the device force restarted. After that everything worked fine. Once your RG557 is up and running again, swipe to the right a couple of times and you see a brand new app called Ambernic AI. Go ahead and launch it and if you're prompted to allow microphone access that's totally optional but it's there so you can use voice to text prompts if you prefer speaking instead of typing. Oh and just a heads up if your app opens in horizontal mode like it did for me you might need to rotate your device to get it into proper layout. The first feature we're going to check out is AI Translate. This tool lets you translate on screen text in real time, which immediately make me think the same thing you're probably thinking. Japan exclusive RPGs anyone? To get started tap the button in the center and agree to the terms. Next you'll need to allow Ambernic AI to appear over other apps. You'll be taken straight to your settings where you can enable that permission. It only takes a second. And finally you can head into the settings and tweak things to your liking. Here's how it works. Once you enable the AI translation floating window at the top you'll see a little blue icon appear on your screen. You can tap that icon anytime you want a real-time translation of whatever's on your screen, and by whatever I really mean everything. Whether it's emulator settings, in-game dialogue, or even system menus in a different language. It's seriously impressive. And since it's running with active AI, it doesn't matter what app you're using in the background, it will read whatever is on your screen and translate it for you. That means full compatibility with any emulator, no special setup required, just tap and translate. Super convenient. And in my testings here I'm translating everything on the screen into German, but of course you can choose whatever language you want the AI to translate it to right from the settings menu. There's already a good number of supported languages and I guess we'll see even more added over time with future updates. The AI model powering all of this is called DeepSeek, which is developed in China. If you want you can swap it out for another model called QWEN, that option is available in the settings as well. I'm not entirely sure what the practical differences are between the two, but I've heard more about DeepSeek so that's what I'm sticking with for now. And understandably you won't find models like OpenAI or anything similar here, since Ambernic is a Chinese company. But AI Translate isn't the only interesting feature here. If we open up Ambernic AI again and tap the settings icon in the top right corner, we can also activate the AI sidebar assistant. 
Just like the translation tool, this assistant floats above any other app you're using and it acts like a kind of a quick access shortcut to your own built-in AI helper. And on the paper this sounds like the perfect feature for a gaming focused device like this. Imagine being able to ask questions in real time if you're stuck in a game, or if you want to quickly look up where to find an hidden item, figure out how a game mechanic works, or even translate in-game lore you don't understand. Having that kind of instant help without ever needing to leave your emulator or game could be incredibly useful. The catch? It doesn't really work. Or, to be fair, it might work, but the answers are so wildly inaccurate that even those playground gaming myths that we used to trade 30 years ago feel more believable. No matter which game I tested with, and in my case that's mostly Zelda titles, which I know pretty much inside out, the AI gave me completely wrong answers. It mixed up characters, invented items that doesn't exist, and even mashed together elements from totally different games. Honestly, I'm really disappointed it doesn't work as well as I've hoped, because this could really have been a game changer, something that genuinely enhances the in-game experience across all titles. I'm not sure if the problem lies with Ambernick's implementation of the assistant or if it's something specific to how DeepSeek is running on the device. That said, I do have reasons to believe that DeepSeek still needs some serious training. When I ask the exact same question to DeepSeek and ChatGPT online, I get two very different answers. ChatGPT nails it, 100% accurate, meanwhile DeepSeek once again gets it completely wrong, mixing things up or just inventing details. So while the idea behind the assistant is fantastic, the actual performance right now isn't where it needs to be. Outside of AI Translate and the AI Assistant, Ambernick has also added a few more AI tools. Things like generating images from text prompts, repainting portraits and some other gimmicky features. Honestly, none of these add anything meaningful to the gaming experience, and I won't be going into them in this video. But if you're curious and want to deep dive into those tools as well, just leave a comment below and let me know there's an interest. That said, do keep in mind these features don't enhance gameplay in any real way, unlike AI Translate which genuinely adds value, and the AI Assistant which could become useful with a few solid updates. Now just one more quick thing before I wrap up this video. I mentioned earlier that PS2 emulation has also been improved in this update. And even though it's not related to the AI features, I wanted to show you how to activate that optimization. While inside the RG launcher, press the select button to open the side menu. From there go to tools and then tap on repair MU configuration. This will reconfigure all your emulators based on the latest settings from Ambernic. And for PS2 that means better performance, improved compatibility and even vibration support for games that allow it. The reconfiguration process will take a few minutes, so just hang on tight. But once it's done, God of War 2, along with your other PS2 favorites, should run better than ever, with smoother performance and added features like vibration where supported. It's a small step that makes a big difference. So that's the 1.22 update for Ambernic RG557, an update that brings real improvements to PS2 emulation, a surprisingly useful AI translation tool and a not so great assistant that hopefully gets better over time. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Have you tried the update yet? Are the AI features something you see yourself using? Drop a comment down below and let's talk about it. If you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe for more guides, reviews, and all things retro handles. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Tech Cravers out. Hey there, YouTube really thinks you would love this video, so please go check it out. 